In this video, we're going to determine how to use the color sensor to detect reflected light to allow us to say stop whenever we trace over a black line. So we, re we are reacting to the reflected light of the color sensor. So, so far in my program, I have the start block. I have a double motor block here set to go for unlimited. I'll just, just turn on straight zero percentage at 50% power. We're going to grab a weight block. We're going to select the color sensor. We're going to do a compare value and we're going to do reflected light. Now we're comparing the value of the driving surface. So if it's the floor, let's say a hallway to the value of the reflected light when we run over a line and we have to get the tolerances and your tolerances will change depending on the color of the floor, the color of the line, whether it's say black electrical tape or duct tape or whatever it is, you do need to figure out the tolerances uh, for your scenario. So to do that, we're going to click on our hardware viewer down here. I have my color sensor plugged into port two and I have to make sure I'm measuring reflected light. And right now it's giving me a value of about 52 or so. And that is when it's just on the floor. When I move the color sensor over the black line, that value drops way down to say nine. So let's just say anything less than about 15. That's a pretty big change. So from say 50 all the way down to you know nine or so. So I can even say anything less than 20. That means that it's over the black line. It has to be in my scenario. So we're going to go back to our code and our tolerance should say in my scenario, less than 20 because we're going from about 52 to 10. I would say 20 is a good buffer number there. You don't want to be too accurate just in case the lighting is different in one scenario or say that if there's, you know, it's a tile floor or whatever it is. You don't want to be right on. You want to give yourself a little bit of a buffer. Then we just have to tell our robot to stop when that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my motor block out. Say stop. And in my scenario, because my, my color sensor is plugged into port two, I actually need to change this to two in order for this to work. It's important for you to know which ports your sensors are plugged into. So we're going to be motors on at 50% power until we detect light less than 20 mean that we traced over a black line and we're going to stop. 